What's up guys, it's Wilma Kaysen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a return family member here, subscriber, return viewer, I appreciate you guys so much. If this is your first time stopping by again, my name is Wilma Kaysen. Welcome to my channel. I do videos on luxury, unboxings, travel vlogs, lifestyle videos. If that's something that you're interested in and you like my personality, which I hope you do, I'd love for you to stick around and be a part of our family here. You can do so by clicking the subscribe button and that notification button bell so you get notified every single time I load new content. Today's video is super, super fun. It is a tag that was started by my girl, the lovely Catherine from KW Shops. I will leave all of her information as well as her video starting this tag down below. And the tag is your soulmate bag tag. And it could be one bag, it could be more, you know, multiple bags. It could be things that you have in your collection. It could be items that you wish to acquire, your wish list, what have you. So I'm super excited to get into it, so let's go. Out of the gate, I have to start off with my everyday bag, which is my Gucci messenger bag. Now, I know you guys were probably expecting something from Louis Vuitton, but this was my COVID bag. This is a very, very special bag to me. Um, it's black. It's easy to clean. It doesn't get messed up. I love the subtlety of the, the interlocking G. I love this pocket in the back now. I love a good back pocket, but some of them are very, very unforgiving. This one runs the entire width and depth of the bag. I super, super love this. And just to show you guys how crazy, this is what the strap looked like post-COVID, okay? Now, I've had this bag for eons, and I just recently put that kind of wear and tear on it during COVID, like I said, shoving it in lockers at work, throwing it on the desk, schlepping it in and out of the car. I mean, this bag outside of that strap looks perfect. Like, it looks really, really good. And for that alone, that's a true sign that not only are you my soulmate, but I clearly am yours because you're rocking with me to the end. Like, this thing, you would expect the corners to be frayed, something, loose threads. No, this bag is freaking phenomenal. So... I mean, obviously, I've tucked it away because I want to take it to get repaired. Um, and I will show you guys the before and after of the repair with Gucci on the strap. Now, I want to say, I did a repair video two years ago, just before we canceled Gucci, based on that turtleneck fiasco. And it was an amazing experience, but because they had been scrutinized in the media, I didn't post the video singing their praises. But basically, they repaired two leather bags that I had. And they were really, really beaten up. I mean, the leather was bad, loose thread, you name it. Um, these corners were pretty bad. They repaired both bags for me, full leather bags, for free. And I just think that that's pretty amazing. So um, when I get this bag repaired, I will include footage from that previous, previous experience just to compare my two different experiences with two different repairs on two different type of bags. So that is that. This is my... <laughs> first soulmate bag and it's my soulmate every day bag. Moving right along, I am going to say that my weekend bag definitely has to be my Monogram Eclipse bum bag. Its predecessor in my everyday use or my weekend everyday use was the Geronimo, the Dami Ben Geronimo by Louis Vuitton and before that it was the Gange Pouchette by Louis Vuitton and this is just the bag of the moment right now. I don't carry it like this. I'm going to show you the strap that goes along with it. But it is a really, really good bag. It's the perfect size. It fits a lot. It can get heavy on you from packing it with all that it fits depending on what you're putting in there but I absolutely love this I will leave linked above a vlog when I went to the city with Izzy I believe it was for my birthday it was about a year ago it was for my birthday well my non-birthday but it was about a year ago and we went to the city and I carried this in the beginning of the vlog I showed you what all fit in it so like I said I will leave that linked above so you can check that out but it holds a lot and I really do love it it's very versatile so you can lift this tab up here like so and you can take your handy strap here slide that down and then on this side here 
slide that in and suddenly you have a crossbody bag. And this is the way that I wear it either in the front or in the back. I took this bag to Paris with me and it was, oh, it was such a great travel companion because it fits so much. And as a vlogger, you know, you're carrying on a camera and hand cream and sunglasses and all this other stuff and it fits all of the things that you need. All the things, okay? So this is my weekend soulmate bag. Now here's a bag that hasn't had any use all summer and that would be my soulmate beach bag now my coach bag in the closet is probably having a heart attack right now because i didn't pick it but this bag which is the same material it's that same etched material as the messenger bag that i shared with you guys this bag has been to mexico the bahamas the jersey shore it's been at every beach around the world that i've been and i absolutely love it and it is a tote bag and one thing that i really love about it it has a crossbody strap so I it's weird when it comes to totes I typically don't like a top handle but for my beach bag I do tend to carry it like this I don't really carry it on the shoulder so yeah I do love that it's not that I have the, the double option to carry it as either a top handle or a crossbody and it's just a really really lovely bag I love that it's super subtle you don't have the G's everywhere and um, I know you guys are probably like are all your bags on your soulmate tag black and the answer is no but in the times we're living in um no but seriously i do love this bag and if you can find it anywhere on the retail on the resale market like snag it is such such a good bag this was such a good line by gucci and um i don't know i'm just i'm obsessed with it the next bag on my soulmate list is my louis vuitton dami Eben keep all 45 bandolier i am obsessed with this it is the best travel companion ever I added this clochette aftermarket. I'm not sure if you guys can still do that, but if you're interested and if you have a good client advisor, just tell them that you want the Alma clochette. That is the Alma replacement part clochette. Um, but yeah, I do love this bag. I do own the Keep All 50 non-bandolier and the 55 bandolier and both of those, the 50 just, I feel like it needs a strap. Great size, but it needs a strap. And the 55 is too big. You wind up carrying too much and I'm usually like my shoulders usually dead after carrying that so um, this is just a perfect size you can stow it perfectly in the overhead compartment on the airplane if you're taking it on a trip whether long or short um, it pairs well with any luggage that you have I just love this I love throwing it in the car for a weekend trip a lot of people use it for a gym bag but this is to me like the perfect perfect travel bag it's not too big not too small crossbody option i feel like no one i know has ever said they've overstuffed this to the point where it's unbearable to carry so yeah completely completely love this bag so now i'm going to talk about two bags that i do not have in my collection and since we just finished off with travel i'm going to pick back up where i left off and i'm going to talk about a travel bag that i love and it's been on my wish list but i kind of was like i don't need it because i have so many other um travel bags and that is the monogram eclipse keep all 45 bandolier and you guys what can i say eclipse bags are they're just it right now they're so so sleek they're so sexy i love the silver hardware the thing about this bag that i really really love is the fact that it has an inside compartment i know that my key balls don't have an inside compartment i don't think any other key balls that preceded the eclipse key ball 45 or 55 i don't think that any of the bags previously had inside pockets correct me if i'm wrong maybe a more vintage one but i think the most recent years I, don't, I haven't seen anyone that has an inside pocket, which makes all the difference for me. It's perfect for those non-essential essentials that you kind of want easy access to, but you don't want to really carry them on your person. I think it's just, it's an awesome, awesome addition to a bag. And I hope that moving forward, more key balls have the interior pocket. Second bag and last bag I'm going to talk about, which is also another black bag, which is so crazy because I have so many different color bags, but I just might, when I, my go-to bags are kind of black bags. And um, the bag that I'm talking about is the Louis Vuitton Monogram Eclipse Explorer Tote, and it's called the Illusion. And it's called the Illusions Tote because depending on how you turn it, it's this superimposed, is superimposed the right word? It's this 
It's the a shiny monogram overlay juxtaposed to a background that is matte black. And as you turn the bag, you get these various, the way the light hits it, it's just an awesome bag. And it's an illusion because you're like, am I looking at a monogram bag? Or is it like sort of like a holographic thing? Like it is just really a beautiful bag. And as I mentioned with the beach bag, Again, beach bags, I don't mind to be carrying a top handle or crossbody, but it, as far as a tote bag that I'm gonna carry every day, I need to have both options because on, for everyday purposes, I need something crossbody. I currently have the Jami Ibn Buberg tote and it's just a top handle option. It does not zip close on the top. And again, for everyday purposes, I want that added security of a zip top and I would like to be able to carry it crossbody so I can be hands-free. So that is probably gonna be sold with the Keep All 50 and 55 and monogram that I kind of don't use anymore. This monogram illusions explorer tote and the Eclipse print is just, it is a dream. There is currently one on the real real, which I'm trying not to buy as my birthday is approaching in the next two weeks, but I just feel like I've gotta get rid of some things before I drop $3,000 on this bag. But I definitely can see myself carrying it every single day. It's, it's a black bag, like you know what I mean? I feel like the crossbody option, the top zip, it would just work perfectly for my lifestyle. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you so much for checking me out in this video. And thank you to Catherine for doing this tag, KW Shops. Guys, I just, I live for her. And you have to check her out. If you don't know who she is or what she's about, where, where, are, where are you living right now? Get from under the rock and check her out. Again, all of her information will be listed below. I'm not tagging anyone in this video because I am, as usual, the last to do the tag. But thank you guys again so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.